ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas. Welcome to my home and to our story. Ah, tis the season for children smiling, families coming together, general Christmas cheer, and corporate office parties. <laughs> ah, the Sam Monty Oil Company. You see, Mickey Ring founded the company back in the 80s and named it after his twin sons, Sam and Monty. Ah, Sam's the benevolent son with a big heart who likes to hand out money to children and give people raises. Monty's the son who actually knows how to run a company. <laughs> Monty's a bit of a scrooge. But you didn't hear that from me. <laughs> this year, Sam decided to hold a contest. The last employee to leave the party wins a raise. All sorts of things happen at these parties. Joe brought his granddaughter Veronica to the party to help him get his job back after he was fired for trying to steal company assets. Welcome to Monty and Sam's party. We can't be here. Uh, obviously we can. This is breaking and entering. You're not getting your job back. You don't know that? Oh, hey, hey, there's Sam. We're bound to bump into each other sometime tonight. I don't. You just walk up to him and ask him if you can be forgiven and have your job back. Uh, uh, no, because he might say no. So what are we doing here? Party. I'm going to talk to him. No, no, Veronica, do I not. I could be your hero, Grandpa. That is not how that song goes. Kid needs culture. So disappointed. Sam has done a wonderful job with this company. My husband left it in just the right hands. Oh, he sure did. Being the background for the big man, Pete. <laughs> Somebody has to keep this company afloat. Good job. Thanks. Where's your wife? Out there somewhere. Shouldn't you be with her? You're off the clock. This is a party. You're not at work. Do you know what it takes to keep a company afloat, Tara? Bring me to a business meeting. Come on, Pete, just relax. I'm sitting down. I am relaxed. Aspiring sales lead Nicolette begrudgingly brought her sisters, Olivia and young Audrey. Here, fun. Jetro, the wannabe young professional with an associate's degree, tried to work Skeeter into the extended family business. Mr. Skeeter. Yeah. Hi, how's it going? I'm Jed. Yeah. Uh, well, short for Jedro. I was named after the famous oil tycoon, Jed Clampett. Um, well, I guess I'm here to help you out. Okay. Now, I heard you married into the family. Is that correct? Yes. But yet you have no legal right over the company or any of its assets. See, that's what I've been figuring on. I mean... Uh, Hi, everyone. We don't mean to intrude. We just... No explanation necessary. Come on in. You're like family. Come on in. I'm still not fooled. Hi, Audrey. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't tell people. Or not. Or me. It's your money, as long as you're not tapping into the payroll. It's Christmas. You don't owe me an explanation. Hmm. Brogan, have you been listening to anything I've been saying? Huh? I mean, I'm just a little distracted. You were staring at Nicolette again, weren't you? I, I can't help it. You can always go talk to her. No, 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 no. Quentin is around here somewhere, and uh, I think he knows that uh, I'm in love with this girl. So, what's your plan? Plan? 
There's no plan. You do have a thing for stern women. Boy, do I. You know, I would buy her a Christmas present, but I ain't got that type of cash. And a goddess like that deserves nothing but the best. I have an idea. I'll be back. What? Zoe, a hair. Oh my gosh, did I just eat dog? I'm going to die. Zoe, calm down. It's just a dog hair. Just a hair? Do you know any vegetarians that eat dog meat? Ew. See? Let's not get overly dramatic. We are your people, and you're not a vegetarian. No vegetarians eat dog meat. You Ew. mean dog hair. Did I hear veterinarian? I'm a veterinarian, too. You stay away from my chai. I won't let you eat him. Well, I won't touch your chai, but you don't have to go getting all crazy over it. Listen, just because I'm holding my chai doesn't mean I'm crazy. I'm crazy when I'm not holding my chai. <laughs> Daddy! Uh, you know what the vet said when the rabbit died? What? what? Hair today and gone tomorrow. She's scared off another one. Well, I saw him going for the last bread roll. I had to do something. <laughs> the sort of family you can only find in the middle of nowhere. They get gifts too. I figured, you know, she, his ex-wife must have some kind of money coming in someplace. And, you know, ain't I entitled to some of that? I mean, he gave me this card. Can you tell me what this means? I mean, like this part. What's that word? And tripping in the manure. I sure am glad to see you living the life that you want to live. Does it bother you, Mickey, being gone to Europe for Christmas? No. He'll be back on Monday. He just went over there to get a special gift for Sam. Special gift you can only get in Europe? It's a surprise, Arnie. Remember the contest I mentioned earlier? Young Christian, who guards the gate for this party, is very concerned with winning it, but he needs to know he's an employee so he qualifies. Olivia's giving him the answer to that important question. <laughs> Do you want to play? I've never played pool in my life. It only takes one time to say that you have. I don't think I have enough coordination for that. You jump. No. You don't need carnation. You just need to hit one ball into another. Okay. Here, I'll show you. Ooh. Hey, look, I'm good at this! We can place bets when I get my race. I just gotta secure that bad boy first. When are you getting a race? Hopefully tomorrow. Congratulations. So, am I Samanti's oil employee or independent contractor? Sam and Monty sign your checks. Yes, so I'm an employee. Yes. But do I get a raise for being a senior gate guard or a valley park? Who even told you that you were getting a raise? I overheard Audrey tell Nicolette. Audrey's nine. So? so I wouldn't be taking word of a nine-year-old, especially one who's as crazy as she is. I'm going to go on the premise that she's right. Would she say that the last person to leave the party gets a raise? Well, that's Monty's trick to let Sam clean. He says the last person to leave gets to have a raise. How much? I don't know, like a hundred bucks. Anyone else seen my Ellie Mae? Yeah, she's hiding in a closet away from your mom, knocking eggnog in peace. <laughs> that girl's gonna end up like her mom mom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Aunt 
Joe, did you take your pills? Is BYO is BYOB uh, allowed here in Texas? <laughs> this is a Christmas party, not a restaurant. Good, because I'm not paying two dollars for wine when I can bring my own bottle. So you bring in a bottle? Like I said, mine's cheaper. I only paid a dollar a bottle at a yard sale. Joe, it's only two dollars. I guess you never know what you're gonna find. What else did you buy at the garage sale, Aunt Joe? A, a bed. I won't ask. <laughs> So did you get the bed for half price also? No, it was in the free pile. <laughs> Zoe, what are you doing up there? I'm channeling. You're channeling. Are you channeling watching TV? You look like a TV antenna. Where's the remote? Joe, Jade, y'all be nice. What? She does look like a TV antenna. It's you, Karasana, the chair pose. Wait, since when do you know yoga? At school. Hang on, I paid $20,000 at this private school for you to learn yoga? Boy, what's he gonna say when he finds out what I'm learning? Yoga raises their higher consciousness levels. I took yoga as a kid. I believe it. Zoe, come down from there. You're making people clink their glasses. And be careful. I think we should get up and mingle. Do you really think that's safe? It's safe if it's a Christian singles. That's one way to keep Jesus as the reason for the season. Let's mingle. There's the Christmas spirit. Bless your heart. Jay definitely has a spirit you might want to bless. It's another thing. Why would they import something and then want to export it? I mean, can't they just, once you go to trouble of importing something, why would you want to export it again? Listen, uh, Mr. Skeeter, I can help you understand that, and I can help you get into this company, because if your wife, his ex-wife, isn't making any money off this, she should, and so should you. Now... Well, that's, that's what I was hoping you'd say, because I don't want to have nothing to do with the company. I mean, I don't know nothing about the company. Can't we just get some money? Hey, who's that weird girl following you? Hey, mean girls, don't you learn about bullying at school? <laughs> <laughs> no, we don't. Well, I'm about to teach you. Wait, Zoe, Whoa. Zoe, hang on, hang on. Zoe, come on, calm down. Breathe, <laughs> breathe, Zoe. It's okay. You defended me, my perfect little sister. The attention's always on you. It's always Zoe, Zoe, Zoe. What are we now? The Brady Bunch? I know sometimes you act like you hate me. But I know you also really love me. Humans are made to love each other. Do you love me? Yes. There's that higher awareness I've been paying for. I wish your father defended me like that when we were younger. <laughs> With all the boys at school? No, with Grandma when she committed me into the asylum. I love our family. We're so connected. We need to talk. What did you just do? Double my earnings. Buddy, that's unethical. It's business. That you'll find that this is more important. Patrick, I'm just trying to keep this business in business. Laura Preston? is here. So, do, do you think we'd look good together? I don't have time for this. Don't you want nieces and nephews? I don't care. I know about your diary. You're cute, she's cute. You look wonderful together. Ask her out, see what she says. But remember, what's meant to happen is meant to happen. And what's not meant to happen is meant to happen. That doesn't make any sense. Read a philosophy book. But what about your diary? Do you remember your first love? Ah, oh, 
I remember mine. I was about Patrick's age. She was about Laura's age. And if I'd had a sister like Tara in my life, oh, oh, well, let's just say it wouldn't have helped me any more than she helped Patrick. And keep an eye on Buddy, the kid with the red shirt. He's Enron and Bernie Madoff rolled into one. Sam just gave him a thousand dollars. That kid knows how to find the soft targets. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. That's my favorite Christmas song. Mine too. She's my cousin and from Wisconsin. Oh, that's far. It's in Canada. Yeah. Oh, Laura, Patrick's been looking for you. Really? I've been looking for him too. He's in the ballroom. Is he your boyfriend? No. Then why are you looking for him? He's a good looking guy. He's nice too, just too young for me. I just hope I don't find myself under the mistletoe with him. You could just avoid mistletoe. You don't want to kiss him? I don't know. Hey, Abigail, I have to have a very important conversation with you. Who's Abigail? Your best friend. I mean, Patrick's cute and all, but he's kind of dumb. Kids, they'll learn. Hey, you okay? You look like you're about to go on the attack. That man purports to be Santa Claus. He's not even dressed the part right. But every year he goes around town saying, ho, 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 Merry Christmas. It's like, you're not even dressed the part right. You don't even have to feel his faux outfit to know that it's Polly and Acrylic. The real Santa wears cotton and wool. Pardon me, kids. Ho, 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 ho. Hmm? I knew it. You're not the real Santa Claus. You're not even Santa Clausy. What happened? The real Santa Claus caught you? Oh, oh. <laughs> Excuse me? I've been coming here since I was a little kid. And every year you try to pass yourself off as Santa Claus. So my question is very simply, why not this year? You don't even look like Santa Claus. It's okay, Audrey. Go easy on him. If they lie to you now, they're always going to lie to you. This is unacceptable. Oh, Audrey, I, I don't know what you're... What you... Okay, you got me. I'm not Santa. I'm not Santa now. I, I never have been. But all I wanted was to, to bring joy to, to you girls at the party. By lying to us. It's not lying, it's role-playing. One year, Santa was in a rush and he left our Christmas gifts in the fireplace. And so my dad had to dress up as Santa and put him under our tree. And I walked in, but I knew his heart was in the right place. Okay, maybe you're not a liar. You came clean. I guess I can respect that. But I'll tell you what, as long as we keep this straight, we can keep it a little secret. Thank you, Audrey. You owe me. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Okay, look. I'm trying to tell a story here as Santa Claus, okay? Let's all agree to suspend a little disbelief and, and we can get back to it. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. I, I know this is maybe this, the second time we've ever met, but I actually have a college degree in, in associates in criminal justice. Now, oh, I, well, oh, like my parole officer. Well, yes, sir, but I don't work in parole. Um, Mom, um, yeah. I could have sworn I put my drums in the van. What are you saying? I didn't put my drums in the van. Why not? I forgot. You you forgot to put your drums in the van. Slipped my mind. Oh boy, go ask Sam if he has a cajon. Yes, absolutely. Be right back. Thank you. He forgot to practice, didn't he? You're very insightful, but it's not for a lack of time, it's for a lack of interest. Buddy! What are you doing? I'm just trying to help Briars. It's a greasy business, and I'm just trying to get her an edge. What kind of edge? For a mere $20. I can get her an extra four songs added to her set. That's only $5 a song. It's a pretty sweet deal. It's Paola. Who are you? 
I'm Casey Dombrowski, entertainment attorney and owner of Aero Entertainment. That's A-E-R-O. Not to be confused with anything else. What you're doing, buddy, is highly, highly illegal, and you could get in big trouble for it. Susan over there is my hire. You stay away from her, or I'll assure you that you never make a dollar in your life from anybody else in the world. And you have the power to do that? I'm in the biz, kid. I know everybody. Okay. Yeah, go grab a piece of cake and be a kid. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Wait, so are you really a lawyer? I have a piece of paper that says I am, but I don't practice. <laughs> I'm convinced. I thought I was going to get in trouble. <laughs> no. Hey! We have a few last-minute additions to the naughty list. There's some sort of swindle going on with Brogan, Otilly, and Fiona. Santa's a bit disappointed. We'll let it speak for itself. Hey, really quick. Did you know that Miss Claus was going to be your soulmate when y'all first met? Look, dude, I'm just trying to do my job. You're holding up the line. It's just a question. Hey, I have something to show you. Okay. Okay, come to Santa. What's up? What is that? This is my sister's kid, Fiona. Okay. Hear me out. It's Christmas. There's a butt ton of people here. She acts sick. We ask for donations, and you buy Nicoletta a present and win her over. Are you crazy? <laughs> That's sick. She's not actually sick. And look, Fiona, say it, Lane. I don't feel good. Okay, <laughs> that's just a little bit too dark. My daddy cries because he misses mommy. That's enough. It's either this or keep watching from the sidelines. Okay, fine. I'm in. Of course. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll ask her. Okay. Hey, Mildred, David Lynn just called. He needs somebody to play the piano in Mozart Concerto. Can I can take care of it. Sweet. Okay. I, I think everybody else is covered. Okay, let's go. Can I get any of you ladies something to drink? Uh, eggnog? Oh, you will not have any alcohol in my presence, anybody else's presence, or by your lonesome young lady. It's eggnog. Our eggnog is non-alcoholic. See? Don't back talk me. Someone may have spiked it. There is no alcohol allowed, Peggy. No one spiked it. I tell you what, I can bring you up a glass and you can see for yourself. <laughs> I'm not a guinea pig, nor an alcoholic. No thank you very much. Grandma, it will be fine. Why don't you have a glass of water? Bring her a glass of water, July. Julie. Water's not fun. No one goes to a party and says, I'm gonna have a wild time at this party tonight and get hydrated off my <gasps> ass. Kelly May, do not speak that word. If you speak that word, I will get the most vile and repulsive little piece of soap and stick it in your mouth so that you will never speak that word again. Ankles. Ah. I knew you were going to say that. You know what? Bring me a bottle of whiskey and a glazed donut. <gasps> Ellie May! A whole bottle. A big one. Unopened. Unadulterated. No. Now, that eggnog isn't sounding so bad now, is it? It doesn't go down so easily. But it tastes so good. Well, I guess you can have one glass, but that's it. I don't want you to become a diabetic. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to see that Peggy loves her granddaughter, but Ellie May just wanted a little innocent eggnog. And then there's Julie. Poor thing. People can't seem to get her name right to save their lives. My daddy heats his insulin up in a spoon. That's terrible. Here, I support. Speaking of heat. Hey, where are you going? 
I got soot all over my jacket in that last stop in Yellowknife in the Northwest Territories. Mrs. Claus took it to the dry cleaners at the North Pole for next day's service, but she couldn't get it there until July. And because the days are six months long, I'm not going to get it back until April. Hey, your plan seems to be working. And uh, Fiona over there, she's quite the thespian. What can I say? It runs in the family. <laughs> there he is. You should really leave that poor old boy alone. No. I'll be back. Okay. I've assessed uh, your stepson's company and how many people have claim to that company, stakes, people who uh, not just work for the company, but uh, have stocks, bonds, you know, all that sort of stuff. And... Stakes, they import and export stakes? Sir, they import and export just every, just about everything under the sun. Hey, 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 there's no time to look at food. We gotta find Sam so we can, we can seal this deal. I have to eat, Grandpa. If I don't look at my food, I'm gonna miss my plate as I serve myself. Just use your peripheral vision. Look, he's getting ready to go public. That means I get stock options, which means I don't have to work ever again. I think you have to work to get stock options, Grandpa. Well, well I'm pretty sure I can find a loophole in that. How have you lived 60 years without going to jail? Uh, because I never got caught doing anything wrong or bad. Why did you bring me here and not Grandma? <clears throat> well, there's, there was only two tickets. I've heard some people talking. Seems everyone gets in for free, no tickets needed. I have a sneaky suspicion you brought me here as leverage. There's no reason to think that. Oh, I see. You didn't bring your wife. No, his adorable granddaughter who no one can say no to. His wife is adorable too, but she's an adult. She understands. But if you say no to a kid, you're a horrible human being. But you're not only going to get coal in your stocking, you're on a one-way trip to the coal mine, so you can start cultivating your inventory for next year. I'm wise to you, Grandpa. Okay, okay. There were no tickets, okay? And you're right about Grandma. She has a hard time taking no for an answer. But look. This company's IPO is gonna be about $80 a share, which means you get nice things. You do like nice things, right? You're unscrupulous, Grandpa. You embarrass me. You sound just like your grandmother. Where's he at? Quentin. Uh, nice party, right? Shut up, turd. I seen the way you've been looking at Nicolette. <laughs> and I don't like it. Not one bit. Uh, you got the wrong idea. I know she's your girl. Yeah. The, yeah. That's right. And <laughs> don't you forget it. No. I get you looking at her once again. Oh, and it's gonna be on. You will be sorry. Oh. Don't forget that. You serious? You came here to read? I knew I'd be the donut hole. I didn't want to come here in the first place. So yes, I came prepared with a book. What are you doing? Partying. You're sitting there with a big grin on your face. I'm having a great time. All right, man. I'm 16. I don't know how old you are, but you're clearly too old for me. So before the next clever line comes out of your mouth, I suggest you're cognizant of the implications. Wow, you, you're a real bookworm, you know that? 
It, this is a Christmas party. Why don't you just loosen up for Pete's sake? <laughs> for Pete's sake? You're older than I thought you were. I'm 17. And that comes with a tremendous amount of responsibility. I am the junior gate captain for no. these facilities. I'm miserable here, and you're telling me it's all your fault. <laughs> I want to go home. Well, I'll tell you what. Anytime you want to go home, I'm not going to open the door for you. You're going to be stuck in here. And there's nothing you're going to be able to do about it. Cute boy out. It may seem like a good idea to drag a teenager to a party like this, but sometimes they just don't want to be there. Don't bother to try to cheer her up, Hayden. You'll... Oh, who am I kidding? I can't convince you. There's a lot of money for you. Oh, okay. Well, money would be good. Yes, sir, it would. And for me, that money would just be 75 an hour. Oh, well... Okay. Hey, pretty much made a profit over here. Hi there. Hey. 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 Having fun? I was. Uh, isn't it time for Adelie to give you your medicine? I guess. <coughs> Look at this. Isn't this great? Yeah. You know, I don't really care for Christmas a lot, but I really appreciate what you're doing. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, I just love kids. <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Hey, you two. Hey, did you know that he's been going around collecting money for charity all night? I did not. That's very fascinating. I could have sworn I heard him tell Mr. Ring it was about orphans of drug addicts or brain leakage. Uh, no, 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 no. See, every kid is different, right? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! Mr. Ring wanted me to gather a couple of volunteers to take uh, out the trash. No. Why don't you give me a hand? Okay, sure. As the party gets closer and closer to Coco time, Baines is terrified that he won't be able to find Monty before he has to get his father from the airport. Can I get you something to drink? Yes. I'm a little nervous, a, a little scared. Why? I've lost Monty. Oh. Don't tell him, okay? Don't tell Monty that you lost him? Right. Okay. Well, if I see him, I'll let him know. No. If you'll see him, tell me, let me know where he is so I can find him. Uh, okay. Well, what would you like to drink? Aunt Arsene, please. Will seltzer water work okay? Yes. That sounds functional. I'd be able to relax once I find Monty. His late father would be very upset with me. If he knew I lost him, I'm responsible for him. His father is dead? He is! Well, you said his late father. Yes, his plane was due in over an hour ago. I'm to pick him up at the airport. Well, then shouldn't you be at the airport? Yes. Then I should be. Hey, you okay? Just some post-performance shitters. Over what? I can never hear myself like other people hear me, so I don't know if I did good or not. Everyone liked you. Everyone might just be super polite. You were good. Thank you. Believe me, if you weren't, I just wouldn't say anything. Should I be reassured by that? <laughs> yes, you're a good singer. Do you want to do another one? I have to. I'm closing with Joy to the World. You'll do fantastic. Thanks. Oh, I told you you'd be sorry. 
Oh, any last words before I mess you up? Uh, yes, I actually have a few last words. And uh, this may take a minute. Uh, so first I'd like to say, I like his shirt. It's very nice. Shut and up! Hey! Wow. Boyfriend's a real psycho. Preying on people are obviously inferior to him. Quentin, what are you doing? Look at that. It's, it's not what it looks like. Hey, come on. It's... Babe, sugar plum, wait! Babe, come on! Great. Now she thinks I'm a wuss. Oh, it was either that or watch you get pummeled. Yeah, you're right. I'll leave one. And, uh, I'm actually sorry for blowing up on you earlier. Yeah, you do owe me one. I was about to seal the deal with Arjun. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. How about we just go back inside and uh, I'll be a drink. Okay. Good? Yeah. Okay. Where's Monty? Monty's uh, already uh, left. What? You let them leave? Yes. And why on earth did you do that? Because he's a grown ass man. Parties are fun, let's not forget that. But too much indulgence at any party can land you squarely on the naughty list. Oh, I'm sorry. It's your fault. Dave, she's a kid. I'm actually 15. Are you surprised to make this far? Excuse me? I mean, you say you're 15. Are you expecting to make, to accomplish that much okay. at that age? Okay, now you're being a jerk. Hey, nothing a little vodka and cranberry can't fix. Hit me, Kevin. Hit me. <laughs> With what? How about a sledgehammer? <laughs> She's funny. Yeah, she is funny. Go ahead, Kevin. Hit him. Not like he's gonna feel it. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? You're drunk. You're numb. And you won't feel a thing. That's what I'm saying. Is he drunk? You're looking at a dude who is drunk. Someone who drinks as much as the rest of us breathe. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah. I've never seen a drunk guy before. I mean, I've seen guys act drunk at a party, but they're really acting stupid. <laughs> this guy's actually... He's not smart. Have you seen my numbers? Do you know where this company would have been without me? Where? Do you know where Deanna would have been without me? Still single? Still single? Is she single? She is. Yeah. <laughs> We've been a power couple. <laughs> what? D and D. Double D. Big D. Have you seen our numbers? They're actually pretty good. Okay. There's we could have been something magical together. There's just one problem with that. What's that? She has absolutely no interest in you. That's her fault. She never really gave me a chance, okay? Is this really what I have to look forward to when I'm an old woman? Uh, well, Deanna's only 22. Yeah, but that's fresh out of college. She's, her life's basically over. <laughs> Far from. Okay, maybe a little young, but in two years, that's gonna be scary. <laughs> have you been listening to this dude? It's already scary. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Oh, here we go. People will say drinking a girly drink is not okay. Well, let me tell you something. It's okay to drink a girly drink. If drinking a girly drink makes you happy. No, look, man, I don't think you need to be instructing a minor about how to consume adult beverages. They call adult beverages for a reason. Okay. Eat the fifth on this one, Dave. It's like catcalling on a killing black, all right? It's a conversation versus conversation. So basically, you two just stay out of it yeah. or keep it positive <laughs> contribution. Oh. All right? Stop talking. No, Jamie, I didn't understand anything that he said. <laughs> and it's best that you not know about it because in a minute, he's not even gonna know. But really, th th this isn't good. So why don't you find some folks your own age to be around? Yeah, is he gonna be okay? I think he needs a babysitter. I mean, <laughs> it's probably not gonna be, be good for him 
and don't get those maternal intakes started because they'll be put to better use if you find someone else your own age to be around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Santa loves little children, and he's got a soft spot for parties, too. But sometimes, if they're too late at night, they just don't mix. Mom, are we homeless? Oh, oh no, no, baby. We must have just crashed out at the party. Just a little, little sleepy, that's all. Oh, you okay? Mom, okay. I forgot to brush my teeth. Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. We'll, we'll brush our teeth when we get home. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Are you sure they won't fall out? <laughs> uh, yeah, you, you brush them tonight, you brush them in the morning, brush them tomorrow night, and you should be good. Yeah. Mom, Positive. Yeah, yeah, you'll be fine. Mom, are we homeless? Mm, no, baby, we're just still at the party. But you ready to go home? I think we should just all go brush our teeth. Yes. Yeah, yeah, let's go brush our teeth. Okay. Uh. Can I sit here? Yeah. Um, my sister said I should talk to you. Okay, what do you want to talk about? Can I show you a tree? Yeah. Okay. Sorry, um... Oh, it's okay. <coughs> um, my sister is a sister, <laughs> you know. You're awesome. All right. Now, we're not going to shake on it yet. I got somebody, someone who's, I should say, even a little bit better than me at this. He's going to type up a contract. I'm going to go over that contract with you, make sure it's to your liking and what we've just now verbally agreed upon. And if you're okay with that, we'll go forward with this. Uh, I like contracts. Richard, yes. this is my car out front. Yes, sir. Hey, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, uh, you can leave whenever you have to leave. Okay, uh, definitely. Just make sure that before you do, you turn all the lights off here. Okay. Very expensive rental and make sure that we don't burn any electricity. Of course. Okay. So, um, anything you need from me before I take that? No, off? no, 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 no. Okay. All right. Uh, again, like, I'll, I'll take care of everything. I left your car out running. It's nice and warm for you. It's okay, thank chilly you. outside. You do. Do you have your jacket? Uh, I forgot my jacket. Oh, okay. So, I, I came like this. It was warm this morning when I came. And yeah, you know. under understandable. Okay. Oh, that's good. So, uh, thank you very much for You're being welcome. an excellent Valley Parker. Of course. Yeah. Well, thank you. Um, for coming to the party. Okay. Well, it's my party, and I figured I should be here. <laughs> thank you for having so, me. All right. Well, thank you again. You're welcome. Okay. Good day. Thank you. And close these doors behind me. Oh, I, I will. Have a good day. You too. Thank you, Christian. All right. Did I just win? And now the question you've all been wondering. Did Christian win the contest? I'm sorry, you're going to have to wait for the feature. Ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas, everyone.